Celebrity trainer Nuno DeSalis shows Degrassi's Lauren Collins the secret behind some of the hottest bodies in Hollywood. Okay, Nuno, I am going back to shooting Degrassi next week. We don't have a lot of time. Season seven is starting. And I just want to get in the best shape possible. And also with summer coming, you know, bikini season. So what should I do? I'm more kind of a wardrobe are you going to be uh, wearing during the shooting? Well, I mean, I guess Paige sometimes dresses a little skimpy sometimes. So I'm in sleeveless tops a lot. And yeah, we're older. We're going out a lot on the show. So there's like, you know, dresses, so the legs, the calves. Um, yeah, so I, I just want to look as good as possible. Okay, so we're gonna start hitting your arms and okay. your shoulders. Okay. So what I want you to do is just step forward, okay, and slowly press. Okay. Okay? And while you're pressing, you wanna squeeze your chest. Fuel if yourself. If only the cameras weren't here, this would be like our rated language. Now, what else? When you were training for Take the Lead, mm -hmm. opposite Antonio Banderas. Antonio. <laughs> uh, you were wearing a dress showing a lot of back, right? Yes, okay, yes so I was. In that case, I want you <clears throat> to do a row. Ooh, nice. I can feel my posture improving already. So, okay, we're gonna do a uh, different type of push-up. Um, I did a lot of these push-ups with uh, Jason Bear for Skinwalkers. Okay. He had a lot of nude scenes, and during the whole movie, he's showing his arms. It was a lot of fun. All so right. We're going to do a push-up on the barbell. That's it. You keep your back straight. You go all the way down. That's right. You inhale, exhale. And when you exhale, you want to squeeze your chest. Okay, we're gonna do some chin-ups, which are great for your back. Again, for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, actually, John Leguizamo for Land of the Dead had a whole scene where he took off his shirt and has to do 12, um, 12 repetitions, just to give the impression that he's a menacing yeah. type of mercenary character. It's not about ego, it's not about your character, your screen time, it's about, let's make this rock. It took John Leguizamo about a month to be able to do 12. The first week, he could barely do one. That's, that's bullshit. <laughs> that is not easy. So now we're gonna work on a little bit of your uh, muscular endurance. Okay. Okay, for Jim Caviezel, for example, for Outlander, he had a lot of sword fighting. The tough ones usually are the, gonna be the great ones. Now I had worked on, it, uh, on him, but working on his muscle mass. But for endurance, it's completely different. So we still had to work on that. So for example, I'm gonna have you hold your dumbbells there. I'm gonna okay. have you hold it for 30 seconds. You're okay. gonna feel the lactic acid build up. You're gonna hate me, swear. <laughs> That's okay. Not on TV. <laughs> and uh, that really helped with, uh, with his endurance, being able to do it for take after take, right. a whole day of sword fighting. Yeah, 16 hours. Yeah. And Sophia Miles was also on this picture. Um, was fighting with the same sword, also needed all the endurance. Mm -hmm. I trained her the same way, making sure that, you know, she was able to do that for take after take. So we've had a lot of fun. Okay, so we're doing hammer curls now to mm -hmm. hit your bicep and your forearm also. Um, when I trained Ron Perlman, who, was, uh, star who starred in Hellboy, he needed to lose a lot of weight and his costume, after reading the script, I went to wardrobe, and I noticed that his costume was showing a lot of arms. Mm -hmm. So again, I needed him to get lean and put a lot of muscle mass on. I thought it was a good idea that I'd be in a pretty decent condition just because I understood that this was going to be arduous and, you know, 18, 19 hour days. How long did it take for him to do that? It took him a month. Yeah? Yeah, and he trained really hard. Like every day? Every day. When I was training Laurie Holden for Silent Hill, she was wearing this cop suit and uh, very tight leather pants. Wow. So her glutes had to look amazing. This is actually not my first action roll, but this is by far my coolest action roll. So uh, lunges are great for that. They really work on your glutes, your legs, the lower body. She was training with me again four times a week, sometimes even five the weeks prior to the shoot and I had her doing about an hour of cardio, a lot of stairs, 
so that she would look amazing. This is my favorite action role. So that's kind of cool. I mean, you assume the trainer, you know, just shows up and, and trains the actor, but you actually, you read the script, you work with the director, with the producers. It's like a long process, isn't absolutely, it? Absolutely, absolutely. Actually, in, uh, on Resident Evil 2, the producer would come and see me at least two, three times a week really? and uh, discuss how this or that actor was looking and what we could do to um, obtain uh, whatever goals we were trying to strive for. Acting is not as easy as people think, is it? We go through a lot. <laughs> Inspired to get fit? Well, don't head to the gym just yet. We've got a lot more to come right here on MTV, too.